us. Do you hear? It's getting closer. Don't the room smell like 40 bodies? Yeah, I mean, my room had 18 people, and it's ridiculous because people don't have the time to do proper hygiene. Jason, what was your post at the complex? I was the called the commanding officer, LA Org Estates. So you were in charge of the building? Right, Estates is just, you know, grounds. In an end room, the bigger rooms, 40 people. Right. How many people share one bathroom? On average, there's close to about 60 people per bathroom. 60 people share a bathroom? Easily. And in rooms that smell? Of dirty socks. Yeah, I mean, there's only like one oh. shared bathroom for a whole floor mm -hmm. if it's working, and that bathroom usually has some mildew. This is how Sea Org members live. Yeah. One elevator works in the entire. For main big building. Blue, main for one main elevator. People, yeah. There, there's another elevator that they that is supposed to be operational, but only the executives are allowed to be on it. Mm -hmm. so, and the other elevator in main building is shut down, and it's just gutted and empty. Mm. and they just hope that no one notices. Um, LAOR Grand Floor South, there's a, there's a bestos and right above the ceiling tiles. Um, a one-pointer earthquake could easily shake it all down. There's a lot of central air blowing through it, um, so I believe it's a hazard. Main building, every floor above the ceiling tiles, there's a lot of asbestos, and those ceilings leak a lot from those very old pipes, and that water, you know, touches it and drips down drips on the people, drips on the carpet, and it's it's a hazard. Does management know that these buildings are infested with asbestos? Of course, it's just not a priority. It's not a priority because money must go up the food chain. Right. And the biggest problem with the roof at LA Org is it's been leaking and just um, letting water go through it for at least 10 years. So the integrity of that roof of over LA Org on the fourth floor and ASHU is is questionable because mm. you know it's 10 years of just water flow that shouldn't have been there and that water goes straight into the walls and sits there and it's very likely there's mildew. Does the city of Los Angeles know this? The city does know and the the church does their best to um, window, work, bully, window dressing? Yeah, cover it up? To bully them and to um, assure them that they're working on it, and they are working on it, but at a very slow pace. The windows around main building, they're like the original windows. When it starts getting really windy, like around 30 miles per hour, those windows start flapping like crazy. And say about every time the winds pick up, one window falls somewhere around main building, easily. It's like the window is just flapping outside, and then bam, dislodges and falls 10, 10 20 stories and it could easily kill someone. In the basement of main building and some of the other orgs, it's the pipes holding a lot of the water are the original pipes that according to the plumber are ready to blow. And one of them blows maybe about once a quarter and it's like a big, you know, a pretty big ordeal. And the scary thing is that they have a lot of EPFers or staff and clergy doing training down there and doing drills down there and um, and it can get really dangerous. Um, I don't know the code exactly, but basically anywhere that you want people to work and to house um, fl flammable objects, you need to have a fire sprinkler system. In the basement of LA Org, there's no sprinklers. And, you know, people work down there, there's, an off there's two offices down there, there's, you know, t there's tons of paper, um, you know, of, you know, church documents and whatever, and it's dangerous. If a fire happened down there, if someone's working there and they didn't um, notice, um, they can't leave in the elevator. And if the fire is blocking off the one stairwell, that's it. What would happen to Leb Hall if an earthquake hit? Leb Hall in main building, as long as it was less than a six pointer, wouldn't be too bad. You know, most of the people are trained with drills to be able to walk blindfolded since there's no emergency lighting. But if a six pointer or greater hit, That, that could easily become 800 people and just add in an instant. Because it's not earthquake proof, it's not up to, to code. Sump pump yeah. is, takes the waste and sewerage out. Right. How old is the sump pump? 
In LA and the, org, mm -hmm. it's the original sump pump, and there's only one. And according to the plumber, it could go any month. It could go. And, and no then what would it do? Just back up the sewage? It would back up, and within like something like 12 hours, the sewage would back up and overflow across the ground floor north of mm -hmm. LA org. And it, it would be just an incredible hazard to the people, and the smell would per pervade the city, you know, like a square mile or something for a month. It's getting closer. And there's no emergency light. People are trained to be able to walk blindfolded. You know, and oh, wait a minute. In, in normal code, you have what's called emergency lighting, which is battery powered. So if the power goes off, there's an emergency path of light. Yeah. So instead of putting in battery powered emergency lighting, they train you by blindfolding you to find your way out of the dark building. Right. So in the event of a fire, or an earthquake, or another emergency, there's no lighting. Right. And you're supposed to find your way out. Right. Listen. Do you hear it? It's getting closer.